Good morning. It's January 27, Saturday, January 27, 2018. Ah, here in Brooklyn, New York. A little proof of life. Proof of life. Down in Bay Ridge, you can hear the church bells ringing. Beautiful Varazano Bridge. Dead of the winter. Ooh, it's cold. It's not so bad today. It's maybe uh, 38 degrees with a view towards 45 or 50 today on a Saturday. So, my name is Marcus Conti. I am the pro se plaintiff. Solo Pro Se Plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. The index number is 101058-2016. Cases scheduled is on the calendar for March 2018 at uh, New York Supreme Court Appellate Division, 1st Department, 27 Madison Avenue. So, uh, again, this is just a little proof of life today. watching George Webb this morning, right? And uh, George, amazing, amazing, amazing person. Investigative reporter, definitely follow George. He's been at it for about two years now, on the ground reporting. He said something very profound to me. He said, he didn't say it to me, he said it to, <laughs> he said it in his video. Is that when you see some news of urgent public interest, public concern, like there's a, there's a certain urgency to the to the uh, the thing that people should know about, right? And you see municipalities and you see you know, government agencies and such drag their feet prolong litigation, right? That's a red flag. That's a, that's a sign that there's that there's not only a school play going on, but an outright puppet show where it's a shit show where trying to buy time to diffuse that that energy because there's so many people implicated. For example, in DSNY, a municipality that has you know stolen an estimated six hundred million dollars from taxpayers over the course of a 30 year 30 year run got a garbage truck behind me I see a garbage truck DSNY garbage truck yeah, they're my friends DSNY I'm not, I have no animosity towards the uh, sanitation workers they're good people they, they work hard they do a good job it's you know my beef is with the the greater agency but I, I guess what I wanted to say today is that the time is now for the jurists, the jurors, not the jurors, the judges of AD1, you know, in New York. The case is before you. It's in your hands, you know. It's not solely in your hands, but it's in your hands. You know, and we have, we have ample evidence, extreme public interest in finding out and... and con- confirming once and for all that a quota does exist in New York City in terms of tickets at the SNY, very likely Department of Traffic as well, and other agencies, other law enforcement agencies across the city and probably across the state and certainly across the country, right? The sense of urgency, the time is now. I'm in a place right now where I'm where, uh, you know, my time has become a little short and I'm in a place uh, where I'm forced to watch, not forced to watch, but fa- forced to pass by fake news on a daily basis, right? So there's CNN, you know, it's CNN, it's state, you know, it's CNN, it's fair to say right now is... A state-run media. There's no doubt about it. It's. I mean, it, they don't report. They're still talking about the PP dossier and how the Russians stole the election and and, and other fake news stories that how how 
Flynn and, and, and uh, you know, how these guys stole an election and how they lied. And to, but the real, you know, the, they, don't, they don't talk about, it's like an alter, it's like a, like a, like a separate universe of trying so hard to promote this false narrative when anyone paying attention knows that it is it is in fact false it's very sad it's very it's very uh i don't know what the word is but i, I it's re- very orwellian to watch uh to watch this happen in, in our country where the news no longer represents the actual events. Of course, when there's some kind of, you know, some kind of accident, like or an explosion or, or a bomb or something like that, of course they cover that. But I'm talking about the, 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 the other 23 out of 24 hours where they're covering nonstop propaganda, where they're promoting a false narrative. Trying to bury the truth. Trying to keep the truth from the people. Is what I'm saying. And um, I'm sure it's gone on throughout history. History shows that it has gone on. But it's going on pretty bad right now. And um, and I see it. And I and I and it. it um, you know, it, it just it just kills me. It kills me to to have to. You know, and then you get into conversations with people that are not educated or that they haven't been paying attention. And they they believe it. Oh yeah, Trump's uh, it's Trump's fault, right? <laughs> so, isn't all the problems we're having right now Trump's fault because he's a because he said shithole or he said you know he said grab their pussy or something like that. And that's that's the reason why the economy's you know why there's this insane level of income inequality in the markets are hitting all time highs and people in their own lives are hitting all-time lows, right? Uh, That's Trump's fault, right? Didn't Trump do that? So, I'm not a fan of Trump. Again, I I, I highly disagree with his, his, uh, that tax plan is a mess. You don't, you don't give 15%, 14% tax breaks to corporations that don't pay tax anyway and eliminate the tax that they pay for Anything that they make abroad. That's insane. Now they pay zero tax. They don't pay. Now it's le- they legalized. They don't pay tax. But payroll tax, you better pay your fucking taxes. You don't pay those taxes, well, they'll take your house away. Take away your driver's license. Take away your passport. Trouble times, folks. Trouble times. So, I guess that's all I want to do. I want to make a plea. I don't know if this is... Orthodox or but we're living in different times this is this is YouTube and you know to the jurists to the judges of uh, 81 the time is now right. cases before you it's March you have discretion we know you have vast power and discretion at your disposal right. we know that there's no no denying that but if you look at the facts and you use basic common sense and you have to say to yourself, did the city of New York engage in an illegal quota and a, a uh, you know, a scheme to, you know, pick and choose people over the years that would allow it to continue and steal that estimated $600 million from taxpayers? using a 10-ticket quota system for years and years, how many lives they damaged in terms of, you know, employees that were forced to break the law. Did all these things happen exactly as I told you they happened? As Exactly as I documented they happened in the 175 videos. Not all of this 175, but a good portion of them document the exact nature of their wrongs. Right? Or, or is this just a case of a subordinate person, a worker, disgruntled, insubordinate? Come on, people. Come on. 
We know the truth. We have to rule in the direction of truth. We have to change, shift the paradigm back to truth. What is the truth? What is the truth in this country? What is the truth? It's the truth isn't over there. The truth is before you. The truth is in, is in front of you in a case like Conti vs. DSNY where the truth is screaming from the rooftops. Screaming from the rooftops for acknowledgement, for recognition. It's very powerful. To my friends, you know, on, on YouTube, keep doing what you're doing. The war isn't over. Right? We're still in battle. We're still deep in battle. Right? Keep posting. Keep talking about it. Keep following people like, you know, Stick, uh, Stick's Hex and Hammer 666 and H.A. Goodman and George Webb and Jason Goodman, Lionel, Lionel Nation, Jimmy Dore. Right? Keep following these people. Keep talking about the truth. Keep talking about what's actually happening in your communities. What you, what you see as opposed to what the fake television, fake CNN is telling you. Till next time. Peace.